हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द काउंट एंड एनी फंक्शंस एंड व्हेन वी नीड टू यूज द काउंट फंक्शन एंड व्हेन वी नीड टू यूज द एनी फंक्शन सो फॉर दैट आई क्रिएटेड वन क्लास फॉर द आइटम लिस्ट सो यू कैन सी दिस द आइटम लिस्ट हैव टू प्रॉपर्टीज वन इज द आईडी एंड अनदर इज द आइटम नेम ओके फॉर द परफॉर्मेंस आई हैव क्रिएटेड the one check performance class and check performance class have the one constructor in which we inserted the 99 lakhs records of the item list in the items so whenever this constructor call it will be create a new list for the items and inserted the 99 lakh records into it so now we need to check how the performance is increasing by the any or how the performance is increasing by the uh, count function and wh what function we can use count or any for the checking the length of the any uh, object of the item list so for that i have created some several uh, methods like uh, get any function performance get count function performance and get count performance so there are the three methods okay so one is the any function performance method okay so we see that any function performance method is use the stopwatch stopwatch is starting and then we are checking the items dot any if anything is happens the stopwatch will be stop so here we are checking the items dot any and we have the 99 lakh records in this item whenever we are checking this item dot any another function is the get the count function performance it's also check the items dot counts is greater than 0 so both are the same both are the logically are same but practically they are the difference one is the any function and the one is the count function and it's checking the greater than 0 value so another function is that only the use of the count this is the items dot counts greater than 0 this is the property this is not a function so it's a checking the items dot count is greater than 0 prop via property so let's see the uh, performance of these three functions okay so here i write the console of uh, any functions execution time Uh, count function execution time and the count execution time so we will see the performance of these three so here you can see that the performance of the any functions count function and normal count So any function takes the 0.8939 seconds milliseconds count function takes the 0.2534 milliseconds and normal count property takes only 0.001 so whenever we require to check the count is greater than 0 we need to use the count property rather than use the any function or the count function so our question is that so why we require to use the any function and count function and when we require to use the any function and the count function for the checking the record is greater than 0 or not so let's see for that so now we will check about the any functions and count function with the where condition that means we required some where condition like the how many records are available in the uh, this list greater than the 500 id and we required to check if any record is available that is greater than the id is a 500 that time we need to use the any function and the count function so now we need to check the performance of the any function and the count function with the where condition which is the better than count or which is the better or any function so we see this with two examples so here i created two methods for that any function with the where condition and the the count function with the condition so we see in this function 
so here i created the method uh, which is the giving the any functions which is checking the id is greater than 500 that means the any record is available uh, in the these items which have the id is greater than 500 the same thing is created for the count function so it's also checking that the count function that any id is greater than the 500 so that's a record is available or not in the this list so for that we are checking the performance by the console so here i already created the console dot write line for both so we need to check the performance so let's see so by this performance we can understand the which is the better to use for the any functions or count function for the uh, particular reason so now you can see that the any function with the condition is the 0 0.707 millisecond where the count function takes the 563 millisecond that means if we require to check the count is greater than 0 with any where condition we always need to check we always need to use the any function rather than using the count function also if we are required to check the count is greater than zero there is a no nowhere condition in the function so there is a no condition for checking the count is greater than zero that time we need to use the items dot count that means the count property rather than using the count functions so now i hope you understand the any functions count function and count property and when it requires to use and when we need to use the particular any function or the count function with the where condition so if you like this video please like it and share it please also subscribe to the channel for the more videos